So for this recipe, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I do recommend. Hi, I'm Carmen V. Luciano, and this is the Miscellaneous Vegan, where I share a little R&R, &R, recipes and reviews. Hola, yo soy Carmen V. Luciano, y este es the Miscellaneous Vegan, a donde doy reseñas y recetas. So this video is going to be a bilingual video, both in English and Spanish, because I'm going to review a recipe that's not mine. And if I don't like the recipe, I don't make it again. We're gonna do it in both English and Spanish. So this video va a estar en inglés y en español, porque voy a hacer una reseña de una receta que no es mía. Entonces, significando, si a mí no me gusta la receta, no lo voy a hacer otra vez. Por eso que este video va a ser en inglés y en español. So the recipe that I'm going to be doing is this recipe it's it's a spiced lentil and kale soup entonces la receta que voy a hacer es esta receta que es una sopa roja de lenteja y kale i'm not going to share the title of the book or the author's name because this is not a sponsored video no voy a dar el nombre de, del autor ni el título del libro porque este video no está patrocinado so these are the ingredients you will need i will list them below Estos son los ingredientes que va a necesitar. Lo voy a poner abajo, a donde que pueden dejar sus comentarios. These are the measuring cups and spoons you will need. This is one cup, and then we have the one teaspoon, half a teaspoon, one fourth teaspoon, and one eighth teaspoon. Estos son los vasos y las cucharas de medir que van a necesitar. Este es un vaso. Este es una cucharita, media cucharita, un cuatro de cucharita y un octavo de cucharita. Make sure you wash your kale, water and vinegar. Aseguren de lavar su kale con vinagre. Make sure to also wash your celery. Just dip it in the same water with your kale. También aseguren que laven el apio. Pon una misma agua del del kale. Ahí se lava junto. So here are the ingredients in the kitchen and I put it in the order that I'm going to use it. And I forgot to mention that you need diced onions. So go ahead and pause the video, get your diced onions, and then we will, can all begin together. Estamos en la cocina, aquí están los ingredientes. Y lo puse en orden en como yo lo voy a usar. Y se me olvidó de decirle que van a necesitar eh, una cebolla picado. Entonces, dale pausa al video y vaya y busque su cebolla y píquenlo. Y te vamos, y va, entonces conseguimos todos juntos. Ok, so let's begin. You're going to need one tablespoon of oil. I do not measure mine, I just add it in. Van a necesitar una cucharita de aceite yo no lo mido yo solamente lo entro now let's add the garlic vamos a poner el, a, el ajo also the, we're gonna add the onion ahora vamos a ponerle la cebolla Vamos a stir it until it's nice and toasty. Vamos a menearlo hasta que se cocine un poquito. Okay, so while it's cooking, we gotta look at the book and it says that we are going to add the celery and the salt and saute it for a few minutes. Don't say el próximo, la próxima cosa que se va a usar es el apio 
después de esto y le vamos a poner le voy a añadir el sal so while it's cooking the next item we're gonna need is the celery and I have it right here ready ok próxima cosa que vamos a usar es el apio ok I have it right here so just so you know um, celery in Spanish you say apio and then we're gonna add salt with it and in Spanish you should know from the last video sal but I'm using celery sal pero yo voy a usar sal de apio Let's turn it a little bit. Let's see. No meniano. A ver. Okay. Oh, my God. Ya casi está. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to add the apio. Sorry, we're going to add the celery. Vamos a añadir el apio. And I'm going to add one eighth. Pues voy a poner uno, el uno, no sé cómo decir. So one eighth of salt I'm going to add. Pues voy a poner un poquito de sal de apio y lo voy a aguantar I'm going to add the salt and I'm putting it away because I'm not going to use that anymore ok, let's turn it on let's turn it on let me add it Yeah, look at the cocina. We're going to let it cook for a little bit. For about one minute. Alright, so while it's cooking, let's look at it. Let's see what it's going to cook. We're going to look at the video. No, the video. Let's see what it's going to cook. Let's see what it's going to cook. Let's see what it's going to cook. In the book, uh, let's see if it's focused. It's not focused. So I'm just gonna read it. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to read the next steps. En lo que estamos esperando, voy a leer parte del libro que um que dice. And the book says, add the bay leaf, cumin, chicken, chili powder, coriander, paprika, and cayenne as herbs. Vine, so I'll take for a couple of minutes until fragrant. So it says that you combine all the ingredients, all the sazones, and you mix it, and you let it cook for a few minutes. So we're going to do this. Look, I'm going to open the coriander. Okay, I'm going to cook it for a minute. All right, so now we're gonna add the seasoning. As this is cooking, I'm taking the timer off because it's 20 seconds left. Okay, so the bay leaf. So, vamos a ponerle esto. Se me olvida cómo decirlo en en español. I forget how to say bay leaf in Spanish. So I'm putting like. Four small ones because I don't have big ones. So te estoy poniendo añadido, estoy poniendo cuatro porque no tengo lo grande. All right, so the bay leaves added. So remember, we done with the bay leaf. Now we're gonna put it away. Okay, próximo es um, the cumin. The cumin is one cup, one teaspoon and one fourth. Let's say el esta cumin. Es una cucharita y un cuarto de cucharita. Una cucharita y un cuarto de cucharita. Bueno, let's put it away. The cumin, the chili pepper is two. Entonces esto 
is dong cucharita. Chili pepper, two teaspoons. One, two. The coriander is half a teaspoon. And coriander, no sé cómo decirlo en español, es media cucharita. is one fourth entre estos smoke paprika es un cuarto de cucharita voy a poner un poquito más porque me gusta el sabor de esto smoke paprika is in cayenne is one eighth Esta es un poquito. One eighth. Okay, y ya. Bien. And that's it. Y eso ya. Y vamos a mañana. Okay, so after you saute for a couple of minutes until fragrant, stir in the tomato soup with their juices, the broth, and the lentils. Okay, so let's see how much broth you need. You need five cups of broth. Okay. Entonces vamos a preparar eh, el vegetable broth. Le damos cinco vasos de esto. Y vamos a poner, el próximo se va a añadir es esto. So next we're going to add the tomato soup. And now we're going to prepare our broth. So we need five cups of broth. So, so I think it's ready for the tomato and the juices. Yo creo que ya está listo con el, 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 el tomate y su salsa. Right here, this is the can. So we're adding the entire can. And we're going to measure out one cup. So we're going to put it into the tomato soup can. Okay, so ahí está la salsa de tomate con su tomate, and this is one cup, one cup of vegetable broth. Es un vaso de de la agua de bebida. So that's one. This is two, dos, tres. Cuatro, four, and five. Okay, so basically, significando que se usa la caja entera. Una caja de 32 onzas. So 32 ounce, you use the entire box. So let's stir this up. This looks so good. Mira, se ve bien. Se ve bien. A ver cómo sabe. So now let's add the lentils. Ahora le vamos a añadir. Se me olvida este nombre de esto. Ay, Dios. Pero saben lo que es, ¿verdad? Lo pueden usar. Es rojo que dice que se debe de usar, pero solamente tenía este color. So I'm basically saying in Spanish that you're adding the lentils, but I forgot how you say lentils in Spanish. So, there we go. The lentils have been added. 
That's one cup. Little lentils. So we just finished adding the lentils and we're just gonna let it cook for a little bit. Let's see what the book says. Acabamos de añadir la lenteja. <laughs> Yo fui para Google Translate porque se me olvidó, pero se dice lenteja. Vamos a ver lo que dice el libro. Stir in the tomatoes with their juices, broth, and lentils. Bring the mixture to a bowl and reduce the heat to medium simmer and uncovered for 25 minutes. Okay, entonces vamos a dejar que que hierve eh, la lenteja. Vamos a esperar que hierve, entonces vamos a dejar lo que se cocine por 25 minutos. So let's wait for it to boil. And then we're going to reduce the heat to medium heat and let it cook for 25 minutes. Okay. So while you're waiting for it to boil, you should go wash the dishes, which shouldn't be much, just the things you used to display, or if you didn't use it, even better. So lo que tú estás esperando para que se cocine, bueno, comienza a hervir la comida, la sopa, ponte a lavar los trate, ponte fino. Entonces cuando eh, la sopa se comienza a hervir, que pueden ver que ya está comenzando, van a reducir el fuego pa para mediano para que cocine por 20, 25 minutos. So you're going to wait for it to boil. As you can see, it is beginning to boil because it's on high heat. Then you're going to reduce it to medium heat and let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes. Entonces lo va a dejar cocinar por 20 y 25 minutos sin ponerle la tapa without covering it okay so i'm gonna reduce it now and put my timer for 20 or 20 minutes ahora lo voy a poner por 20 lo voy a poner por 20 minutos 21 minutos 21 minutos vamos a regresar después de 20 minutos so we're gonna return after 21 minutes Okay, the timer is up. Ya son el timbre. 25 minutes have been up. 21 minutes, I mean. Okay, so now we're going to add the kale. A little at a time. Vamos ahora a ponerle el kale. So le pusimos el kale, now we're just mixing the kale. Vamos a mezclar el kale. Oh, you were supposed to remove the bay leaf. Debe de sacarle la el bay leaf que yo le puse cuatro chiquitos, pero bueno, it's lost in there. So just be careful when you're eating. Let's see. Um, I don't know. For me, it's missing something. I'm not sure, but para mí como que le falta algo. No sé. Lo voy a, le voy a poner 
I'm gonna add some more cayenne. Um, we're putting maleto, smoked paprika. I'm putting poquito más. Y le voy a poner, and I'm gonna add some oregano. It's not, the recipe is not bad, but for me, it's missing something. La receta no está mal, pero para mí, pruébenlo para que vean. Pero como que le falta algo. I don't know, it's missing something for me. I'm also going to add a little bit more salt. Voy a poner un poquito más de sal. There goes the bay leaf. Ahí está. Hay que sacarlo. Ahí va uno. That's one. <laughs> I put four, so... Ah, I think I found another one. I lost it. Ahí está el otro. That's two. Faltando. It's two missing. So, lo vamos a cocinar, dejarlo ahí en el fuego lento por 3 minutos. We're going to leave it on low heat for another 3 minutes. And it should be done. Ok, los 3 minutos ha pasado. It's 3 minutes have passed. Now the soup is ready. La sopa está listo. Entonces, miren ahí. Una nueva celica. When you store your soup, you want to use glass containers. Cuando van a guardar su sopa, usen containers de, de vidrio. So this recipe, I'm going to give it a four stars. The reason that it does not have a five star is because the recipe was missing some ingredients from my personal taste buds. I needed to add some more ingredients as you saw in the video. Let me know what you think, add it below. Perhaps you will like the recipe as is, it's not bad. But for me, I needed to add more seasonings and more spices. Para mí esta receta le voy a dar un cuatro estrellas porque Para mí le faltó un poquito de sabor. Le estaba agreg agregarle más sabor, como vieron en el video, que le agregué orégano y más smoked paprika. So, si ustedes creen que estaba bien, déjenme saber, comenten abajo. So, for this recipe, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I do recommend it. It's very delicious and the next day, the following day, it tastes so much better because the seasoning have marinated into all the ingredients, especially into the kale. It's delicious. Okay, entonces después de dos días que la sopa está en la nevera y está con su sazón, le voy a dar un 10 sobre 10. Lo voy a recomendar porque tiene más sabor ahora, dos días después. Entonces, aseguren que hagan esta sopa y que lo disfruten. Thank you for watching and make sure you list down below any other recipes that you would like me to review. 
And if you would like me to review your recipe on this channel, just make sure you hit the link below and send me an email. And always remember guys, be real, not perfect. Gracias por ver este video de esta receta. Si ustedes quieren que yo haga una receta que quieren, déjenme saber abajo. Les voy a dejar mi correo electrónico. Y también dejen sus comentarios abajo. Pero siempre recuérdense, sé real, no perfecto. Bye. Adiós.